Hello everyone, and welcome to another video of do-it-yourself cut clothing with my business, Curly's Chop Shop. Today, I'm working on a custom order for a customer of mine named Ashley. The shirt that I'm wearing today is a pink Floyd shirt, which I previously cut in one of my other videos. So it has corset sides and back. And so if you guys would like to see the video of how this shirt was made, please check it out in the link below. butterfly baseball crop top then be sure to look down below for the link so Ashley found me on my YouTube and then so she contacted me directly for a custom order and so I really enjoyed Ashley's choice of cuts because she's seen it a few different baseball crops online and she kind of pick and choose her own design and so I'm gonna share it with you guys today business and it was such a pleasure helping you. You seem like a real lovely girl and thank you so much for keeping the business alive. Ashley, I hope you have a wonderful time out in Oregon for that tattoo convention and I hope you feel hella killer in all your Harley's Chop Shop pieces. And if you like any of the cut designs that you see in these videos, please contact us at Harley's Chop Shop at gmail.com for custom inquiries. on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Poshmark, Pinterest, Twitter, Tumblr, Macari, Depop, and YouTube at Harley's Chop Shop. Or check out our website at harleyschopshop.com. Let's get started. So today what we're working on is an American Apparel baseball crop top tee. Are extra small slash small and then the other side is medium slash large so there's only two sizes available in this crop top and so Ashley chose the heather gray and the black which I think is absolutely beautiful I like white but I definitely prefer dark blue colors and so if you guys want to cut along with me no problem I'm gonna go over my pattern right now I previously did a similar cut for one of my customers Yada MMA. And so this we're just gonna cut across. So usually when I start sketching out my patterns, I make sure that I get the center of the shirt. And so you can just get like a measuring tape. So you just find the middle and then I use chop always. It's super great so you can see your stuff and you can always wipe it off later. And so you put a line straight down the middle. And so on the side, you start with one finger, and then you're gonna go out to four inches. And so usually when I'm drilling it out, I just put my chalk and I do it like a finger space away. And then so this the triangle starts six inches from the bottom, and the bottom part of the triangle is gonna be about five inches and then so we're doing the same thing on this side starting with one finger and then it's going to go all the way to four inches and so this is going to be the front and then on the sleeves what i like to do is lay it flat and then i just like get a ruler and do it but you want to get right in the middle and it's going to be about three and a half inches wide and then lastly, on the back, we have this gorgeous little diamond going on. So, uh, same thing how I start is you get your center line. I'm a stickler for everything which is very symmetrical. I think it looks very nice. And so, you're gonna put your first line at the top of the diamond. 
one finger away. You don't want to get too close to the seam up here. And so you draw your line straight down. And so your arm out on the side is going to be about nine inches. And then right here is going to be about 11 inches. to cut the seam. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do little slashes right next to those. So I'm going to draw those in. But then on the back, it's very similar to the front. One finger and these ones in the back are going to go out to five inches. So it's a little longer than the front. So you're going to do that on both sides. So please watch the video in the process to see how it works out. Get ready to sit back and enjoy the show.
you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see my future videos, click the subscribe button. And lastly, let me know what you guys think and feel down below in the comments. I hope you're all having a wonderful